Hello there, welcome to Cosmic Coaching with Daniel. Today I'm going to talk about a topic that's pretty subtle. It has to do with perception and it has to do with knowing reality. And so I want to talk about living in the gray zone. So previous videos I've, I've discussed the multidimensional mind model that I developed. And a fundamental component of that is the space in which we find ourselves, sort of the cognitive space or energetic space with which we approach reality, with which we perceive circumstances, with which we interpret data and information and interactions with human beings and uh, all sorts of types and formats of information we might call knowledge or wisdom in its most refined form. And so a prerequisite to being able to discern what is what, what's true, what's not, what is misinformation, what is propaganda, and what is the essential nature of a subject matter or situation or set of circumstances in the world and all these domains that I talked about. So a key element of all this is, first of all, knowing that we have um, idiosyncratic filters which distort reality. Um, in other words, to some degree, we project ourselves onto that which we perceive. And this was made uh, famous by Freud with uh, one of the defense mechanisms is a projection. And we're very familiar with this in modern day personal growth and modern day spirituality approaches. Uh, but what I want to discuss is getting to a fundamental kind of a zero state with which we can perceive, knowing that there will be our filtration systems, how we filter the world through our emotions, cognitive states, energies, physicality, and, and spiritual perspectives or outlooks on the world. So the key here, the essence I would say is to get to kind of a zero space or kind of a not knowing space. And this is difficult for most human beings in this day and age because we want that we want that certainty. We want to know what's going on. We want to know what's going on with people in our lives. We want to be able to kind of read the future. We want to know if what's going to happen with our employment, with our jobs, with the economy, um, with our marriage or partnership or our business. Is it going to succeed? And we want to have a grasp on certain types of knowledge because it makes us feel more comfortable. We want to know who we're talking to. And this is entirely natural, but we must let go of the need to know. Uh, to know with the kind of rigidity or certainty. And so what I practice and what's come natural to me since I was a kid is being in kind of a gray zone. And what I mean by that is it's the complete opposite of black and white. It's really a synthesis of the polarities of black and white. It's being in the middle. It's being in no person zone. Why is this potentially empowering? Why is this useful? Because when you're in this kind of gray zone, you are less likely to make errors of cognition or grab onto um, a piece of misinformation or something that's a uh, a falsehood. Because when rushing to know things, whether it's through the internet, or books, workshops, videos, teachers, formal education systems, then it's easy to get fooled. It's easy to be tricked. It's easy to be told something that you take to be true because it's repeated so much. And that is one of the principles of, of brainwashing is, is uh, non-stop repetition some of the things we've taken on to be truths in society, we just believe because we've heard them all our lives and we just take them to be a given. I'm sure you can and think of many examples in the world of uh, nutrition and health and medicine and politics and so forth. The key here is to get into that place that's kind of like they practice with Zen cones, which is to embody a paradoxical state or to sort of immerse yourself in paradoxical truths, things that seem impossible for the human mind 
to reconcile. And this is good practice because it allows you to be comfortable in the realm of the uncertain. And so the way into wisdom and the way into a refined sense of discernment is actually to practice being in this gray zone or to be comfortable embodying paradoxical states. And really the key here also is uh, a sense of humility and innocence and openness to be sort of childlike in your approach to reality. Not childish, but childlike. So never feeling like you know everything. Because of course, we're in this vast, immense universe of which there are, you know, hundreds of billions of galaxies. I think it's been estimated that there are uh, something like 30 trillion galaxies. These galaxies have billions of stars in them and star systems. So this universe is so vast and within our own human brain and human body, we have a universe of neurons and cells and DNA and just incredible, sophisticated physical structures that do things we can't fully understand yet. Science is just beginning to unravel how DNA works and how the brain works. So it's marvelous to be in that state where, or in that reality where there's so much yet to know. And so being in this gray zone, being in this paradoxical state, being very open and innocent and humble uh, is potentially empowering to us because then we can develop a sense of maturity around knowledge, around philosophy, around wisdom, around what we're told. And we can sniff out lies and deceptions and propaganda and disinformation. So it's very important to have the sort of your cup, empty cup, rather than having a cup that's filled. You can't pour any more liquid in it because it'll overflow because you know everything. It's better, to be, it's better to be innocent and have the empty cup, always willing to take in something new.